Before we begin, click subscribe to stay up to date with all of our newest video content. The knowledge tip from CS3 today is setting up user security in Acumatica ERP. This subject will be presented in two parts. First, the security concepts will be discussed in this video. And second, in the following video, I will walk through setting up the security by creating a role, assigning that role to a user, and then testing the roles. So the basic components of user security in Acumatica are users and roles. Users equate to the login user ID and often are employees, but not necessarily. Roles are the security objects that define what a user is able to see and do inside the system. These are known as screen access rights. Generally speaking, there will be multiple roles assigned to a user. For instance, we may have a role that is applied to all users that provides view-only access to customer contacts and employee lists and dashboards that the company wants all users to have access to, and then also provides full access to time and, in, time and expense entry screens that allows the user to create new entries and delete entries. And then in addition to that role that all users get, there will be specific job-related roles created and added to different user IDs. On this screen, we see the relation of screen access rights between the user's roles and what the role defines. So the user, our user, Joe user, has two roles assigned. One as a GL user, which provides access to GL transactions and financial reports, and the all users role, which provides access to company dashboards and time entry. In addition to screen access rights, there are also company access rights. These are roles that should not grant any screen access, but are only used to provide access to companies and branches. Here we see an illustration that shows the user and the roles that provide company access. So our user, Joe user, has access to the two branches that make up company one and company two. There is also a role for the ZZ Partners company that Joe user does not have access to. Next, let's talk about levels of access rights. So the first thing is that we provide access to a screen, and then we say what access we allow on that screen. And there are these different levels. Starting with the lowest level of access, no, which provides no access, called revoked, and you see view only, edit, insert, and delete. Delete is full rights, meaning that a user can not only create, modify, but also can delete transactions on that screen. Certain places in security will also see these other three rights, granted, inherited, and not set. Not set is a special kind of access right, and this is how it works. If there are no roles that have anything other than not set, set up for a particular screen, then all users have full delete access to that screen. The first role that has something explicitly assigned to it other than not set turns off all access to all other roles for that screen. The one screen that has it defined will have access for those users with that role, will have access to that screen at the defined level of access, and all other roles who have that screen as not set will have no access to the screen, the equivalent of being revoked. One other thing you need to understand about access rights is the most permissive access wins. For an example, we have a user that has three roles assigned to the, to the user as an AR manager, an AP user, and a GL user. 
all three roles have the GL transaction screen defined and the AR manager has view only, the AP user is revoked, meaning no access, and the GL user has insert. Since the insert is the most permissive, the user with these three roles assigned would have insert access to the GL transaction screen. There are built-in roles in Acumatica that you can assign to users, and here is a list of what is available. More information can be found online at this web address. Inside your system, if you search for role-based access, you will find built-in roles as a link on that screen. In this video, we have reviewed the concepts you need to understand to build and maintain security in Acumatica. In the next video, we will create a role, assign it to a user, and show you how to test your security setup. Was this video helpful? Click subscribe to see more videos like this one.